I love the leopard prints on the figure, but they are a bit hard to see. So let's see if I can fix that. Hello, this is Ken. I like making things. I like making things out of paper, and I like making things cooler. Especially my figures. Sometimes figures don't look all that screen accurate. All they need is a bit of touch up here and there to unleash the hidden potential. I also love using everyday tools and materials to recreate iconic scenes from my figures, so they can shine on my display. Subscribe to my channel and join my DIY adventure as I ask myself the same question every week. Can I make it? Last week, I worked on the Kia and added the missing paint details back in. That figure is surprisingly easy to pose. Check it out if you haven't already. Today, I'm going to work on Killmonger. I believe this is the third time this figure has been released. I actually didn't get the first two. The first one looked too much like Black Panther when I first saw it. The two-pack was super cool, with all the gold details. I remember wanting to get it, but I didn't want Everett Ross. I'm not super interested in figures wearing suits, so I ended up skipping that one too. With this third one, they made some improvements on the masked head. It's more screen accurate with the gold, but they didn't do the gold details on the body. And I also like that they included a masked head as well. But I still think the two-pack version is the most impressive of the three. But that one is missing the leopard prints. The main reason why I didn't get this figure for the longest time is because at a glance, the design looks too much like Black Panther. But the more I look at it, the cooler the design looks. Let's deconstruct, deconstruct this, this figure. figure. There is an FAQ on the paint and brushes I use in the description box below. I love the leopard prints all over the figure. It's such a nice touch. In the movie, there's this subtle gold sheen on the suit too. I'm going to try and add that to make the leopard prints stand out even more. Although the masked head is more screen accurate, I find the gold a bit too yellow and overpowering. In the movie, it's more subdued. I'm going to dull it down slightly and I think it'll make the gold look more elegant and match the overall look better. And most importantly, I want to add those gold lines back in. I love the way the suit glows in the movie. The lines are already molded in, so all I gotta do is follow the lines and dots. As for the face, it's pretty good. It looks like Michael B. Jordan, but I feel like the previous version was better. There's like a chunk of hair missing on his forehead. It is very distracting. Ultimately, I think the two-pack is still the best of the three, but it is missing the leopard prints. Thankfully, it's easier to add the gold details than the leopard prints. So, can I make it? As usual, I'm going to start with the body. In order to make the leopard prints pop more, I'm going to mattify the overall suit first. In an ideal world, I would only paint the areas around the pattern, but I don't have that patience, so I'm not going to be too precise here. Another reason why I'm mattifying the black is because our eyes usually are attracted to shiny objects. This will make the gold bits stand out more and appear shinier against the matte black. Another nitpick is that certain areas have more of that plastic sheen than others, like the ribs areas and the thighs. All right. The matte black looks more consistent now. Time to add the gold sheen onto the suit. I'm going to rub the thinnest layer of gold onto the main high points of the suit, such as the shoulders, chest, and thigh areas. The idea is not to make these areas gold. It's more like adding a translucent coat of gold there so when the light hits the figure, it will have this subtle golden highlight. Okay, I really like the effect. I'm going to apply this all over the high points of the rest of the figure. Look at that! There's this warm glow to the suit now. But the leopard prints are not as obvious anymore. That's an easy fix. You just gotta add a bit of black paint over them. And the good thing is, I don't have to be super accurate with the placement. The more organic looking, the better. So it doesn't look printed on. Ooh, the suit looks multi-dimensional now. I love this. Now all I gotta fix is the gold. The necklace looks a little dull. 
so I'm going to paint over them with a the coat to make it more metallic. Now onto the lines. This is going to be trickier. I'm going to apply a thicker coat of paint over the lines and dots. I want the suit to have this golden glow it had in the movie. The trickiest part is keeping the line crisp and straight. I'm using a very thin brush here. There needs to be enough paint on the bristle for the paint to look opaque in one stroke, but not too much where it becomes blobs of paint. I'm going to avoid going over them too many times, to reduce the risk of my hand slipping and making mistakes. Although, it won't be too difficult to fix, since the suit is black. I find that I get the best result if I do one clean stroke versus applying the paint in segments. Oh wow, the suit looks so awesome already. I love the way the gold reflects light off the black suit. Oh, I noticed that the belt area doesn't actually connect in the middle, at least from this screenshot that I took. So I'm going to shorten the middle bit here. Alright, all there's left are the legs. Here's the masked head. It looks too yellow and the leopard prints looks too clean. The two lines next to the mouth appear to be not screen accurate as well. So let me patch them up first. I'm not going to completely cover them up. Just dabbing a bit of black over them to visually push them back. So the teeth pop more. Now onto the skull. I'm going to dab some black there too to dull down the yellow. That's good, and a bit of black on his ears as well. Alright, here's the finished masked head. The changes are subtle, but now the brightest area is the nose and the area around his eyes, instead of the top of his head, drawing the attention to those piercing eyes of his instead of his forehead. Now onto that masked head. That area in the middle of his forehead really bothers me. Why is he missing a chunk of hair there? Before I add the hair back in, let me mattify the face a bit first. It's too glossy looking for me. I have a very similar brown here, so I'm going to apply a thin layer here to get rid of that plastic sheen. I dip my brush in the water so the paint can be more diluted. I don't want to change the skin color. I just want a thin layer of paint here to act as a base. While this is drying, let me see if I can add a bit of hair back onto the forehead. Normally, I will wait till the base layer is dried. But since it's the color black, I don't mind a softer edge, so the hairline doesn't look too harsh. And I'm going to apply the black to the other parts of the hair as well to darken and mattify the hair a bit. Alright, I think the brown I use is just a touch too dark, so I'm going to add a tiny tiny bit of highlight back to his face. Now onto the facial hair. They look too plasticky and not dark enough, so I'm going to go over them with the black as well. The good thing is, I don't need to reshape anything here. And just a bit more black on the hair for some more additional shading, and to also blend the hair piece to the head more. Alright, here's the finished head. I love it. It's amazing how getting rid of that plastic sheen can do wonders. The before now looks creepy to me. The added hair on the forehead saved this head. The original bald spot is so distracting. Oh, I noticed the head was looking down a bit. Here's a better angle. This looks like Michael B. Jordan, right? Give it a like if you agree. Here's the spear. Unfortunately, it's not entirely screen accurate. So just work on it the way I want to starting by adding a dark wash on the brown areas. The idea is to increase the contrast. By making these areas darker, the brighter silver will stand out more. Speaking of, let me add a bit of silver to make it shinier. And finally, a black wash near the center to give it more dimension. Done. It looks deadlier now. Next. His sword. Same idea. 
adding a black wash to the handle to bring out the details and then make the blade shinier and a little bit of black to add more dimension to the silver Done! Not much has changed but one of them is way more reflective Mmm, look at that! Shiny! Okay, let's look at the finished figure Here's Killmonger with the masked head Oi, why is he leaning like that? The first thing that jumped out at me is how blue the original looks. I actually didn't notice until I put them side by side. It could be the gold warming up the overall color. But man, those gold accents look so nice on the figure. The whole figure looks balanced now. And the necklace no longer looks plastic. Let's see how he looks unmasked. The eyes look less starey from afar. This head doesn't look that good from the side or the back. There's an obvious disconnect there. But from the front, he looks pretty good. Let's take a closer look. Oh, he looks so much better up close. It's like a completely different figure. The gold makes the overall suit look so much more balanced. The original looks unfinished in comparison. The face looks so much more natural as well. One thing that's difficult to capture on camera is the gold sheen on the torso. Look at that, it's mesmerizing. The suit looks multi-dimensional, especially with those leopard prints still visible. Thankfully, the unmasked head looks quite decent from most angles, so that's great. The only nitpick I have is that it's hard to make his arm looks relaxed. That's not really a huge issue, because Eric Killmonger is such an intense character. It only makes sense for him to always look like he's ready for a fight. I'm not too crazy about the masked head. With the leopard print, the eyeliner and the nose and the teeth, there's just a lot going on with the design. I feel like it should be toned down even more. A more simplistic design would look more menacing in my opinion. Do you have the previous version of Killmonger? If so, do you like what I've done? Let me know down below. Alright. Let's end this with the photo shoot. Starting with the masked head. Look how awkward he looks standing like that. That's better. Just gotta bend those arms. Okay, the mask is quite expressive. Even though I feel like they skipped out on the gold paint on the body, the print job on the head's very good. There's so much intricate details, and I don't see any printing mistakes. So I appreciate that. At least they used a very nice gold. Here's the unmasked head. I really like how the hair looks now. It no longer looks like a piece of plastic glued onto the head. And I think this head just fits the look so much better. His face demands attention. It's also quite fun to pose as well. It's like I can tell a story with each photo. It's so cool. I'm definitely displaying mine without the mask on. Alright. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm not done with Black Panther figures. There's still a few more to go. Stay inspired and I'll see you next week. I can make it, so can you.